Josh, congratulations. I'm sure it's uh, fun to be putting that hat on and, uh, and getting a fourth ring here. Uh, but I'm not sure you've ever had a chance to block for a running back that went, uh, went off the way Trey Sermon did this afternoon. Is there something as an offensive lineman that you can notice when a guy really gets into a zone where and he ran for 271 yards in the second half alone? Yeah, <clears throat> um, we had a really – well, for starters, I did want to, to make this note early on. There was a lot of questions about our running game. Um, and it, I got to tell you guys, it was the most <clears> – <throat> It, it was just the best feeling. You know, They, I asked Jerry to get the staff for me. They allowed 3.7 yards per rushing attempt, and we averaged over nine on like 40 rushing attempts or something like that. So, I mean, I'm just over, you know, I can't, I can't even express how happy I am about that. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, with, with Trey, I mean, I don't know. It, it, we see it, I mean, really, we see it from a different angle than you guys do, but we see it the same way you guys do. You know, after he broke a couple out, even in the first half, I was like, oh, he's about to go off. I knew it was just a matter of time. Um, and, man, did it feel good. All righty, next up, Austin Ward, Letterman Row. Josh, can you walk it through a little bit for those of us who are on the outside dealing with getting a positive case, missing a game, you know, trying to come back, reacclimate, then play right into a championship game. I mean, you hadn't played, what, in like five or six weeks, really, it seems like. What has this process been like for you? And then to cap it off the way you did today. Yeah, uh, Indiana was the last game I played in. Um, <clears throat> and the process was awful. You know, I, I got to be honest with you guys. I mean, it is what it is, and there's nothing I could do about it. But uh, the process was terrible. I, I had to sit there. Um, for 10 days and basically do nothing. I mean, I, I had schoolwork and, and stuff I had to finish up for my internship. Um, but other than that, I, I couldn't I couldn't work out because I couldn't get my heart rate up. And so I was just sitting there and it was 10 of probably 10 of the hardest days I've ever had in my life. Um, and, you know, with the, with the Michigan State game, um, I, I was super just so proud and so happy for our guys on the offensive line and who, who stepped up to the plate <clears throat> and the way they stepped up to the plate. But, you know, sitting there watching your own team play when you have so much invested into it, too, um, it's it's awful. I, I don't I don't have any other way to put it. You know, when you invest so much and you sacrifice so much for something and then you have to sit out, it's hard to put into words how bad it is. All right, we'll do two more. So we got Justin Hilliard ready for you. So we'll, let's go to Jared Smalley. Josh, just how big a difference does it make to have the five the the band back together again and how did that evolve through the game did you notice a pattern where you know maybe early on it's there's there's some communication issues and then later on it's it gets smooth yeah uh there was a lot of things that went went into it you know it was i mean it was awesome getting back out there and getting to play with the boys again um <clears throat> to be honest in terms of like conditioning and stuff like that i was in better shape <clears throat> I, I thought i might have had a, a bit of a hard time with it just because of sitting out for 10 days and, and literally not working out. Um, I, I thought I figured I was going to be pretty tired at the end of this game and I was, but not how I thought I was going to be. So, so that was good. And it seemed like it was the same way for, for Nick and Thayer. So that was good. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I think <clears throat> part of it was figuring out what they were doing. You know, there were looks that we knew they were going to give us and they were disguising them pretty well. Um, and they were moving a lot right before the snap trying to disguise what they were doing um and, and once we kind of figured them out then we were able to you know bust some big runs open all righty and last questions for josh go to nathan baird cleveland.com and josh you know what you were just saying about your own um situation with the virus i mean then what do you what's kind of your re emotional reaction this week when you see other players starting to to deal with that maybe especially chris Olave, who who came back from you know, uh, was so motivated to come back this season and kind of be here for moments like this. Yeah, I mean, it just breaks your heart for guys like that. You know, <clears throat> I, I kind of I talked to the team about it um, before the game when we were in the in the huddle. I was just like, you know, one of the things that we had talked about is how you know one of the things that has gotten brought up a lot this season has been how things get taken away from you in life at times, and how it can be really hard. Um, and I said, you know, I was like this season, you know, it's everything. It's so many things have gotten taken away from us. 
And the point I was trying to make was that so many things have gotten taken away from us, but we're still here. Um, and then I was just talking about, you know, the brotherhood and the love that we have for each other. And I, I was like, you know, just keep Chris Olave, you know, Baron Brown, some of the guys that couldn't be here, keep those guys in your hearts because I'm telling you, it was, I know it, it was awful. I know, I know what he's going through right now. And he, it's even worse for him because this is a big 10 championship game. Um, you know, I, I only missed one game. Um, so I can only imagine how bad he's hurting right now, you know, wanting to be with us and wanting to experience this with us. So, um, you know, God, I feel so bad for those guys.